Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to wirelessly transfer all your information from an older Samsung Galaxy device to a brand new Galaxy S8 or other Samsung phones. Let's get started. To wirelessly transfer everything from your old Samsung or other Android device to your new Galaxy S8 or other Samsung phone, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that both of your devices are charged. The second is you need to get Smart Switch downloaded on both devices. So here I'm going to go into the Play Store and just search for Smart Switch. And it should automatically recommend to download Smart Switch. And then you wanna make sure that it is updated on both devices. So here it is updated, so I'm just gonna click open. So over here on the new Galaxy S8, when you first go into your phone and pass the setup menu, it is gonna ask you if you wanna copy over all of your data. Maybe in the store this was swiped away and you don't know where to get to that because in the phone, there is no smart switch application to open. So to get to it on the new Galaxy S8 or on an S7, you need to go into the settings of the phone. So I can pull this up and just go into settings right here. And then you are going to want to go to clouds and accounts. So right here, we have clouds and accounts, and then you will see that smart switch is available right here because it is already pre-installed on the device. Even though it's pre-installed, you wanna make sure that you update it as well so that these have no restrictions between them, that they have the latest version. So I'm just gonna click the settings up here, or you can click update down here, but I'll show you how to get to it through the settings. And then you go to this settings, about smart switch and update. So the goal of this transfer is to get everything over from this phone exactly how it looks onto the new Galaxy S8. Just to verify, I'm gonna show you that in my device that doesn't have any of that information. So here, there's nothing on the home screen that looks the same. If I go into my phone app, there is no recent calls, as well as if I go into my gallery, there is nothing in here at all. So let's go back into Smart Switch. And so we are going to do the wireless option on both phones. And this one is going to be sending the information because that's where everything is stored. And here we are going to click receive. And then it asks, what device are you transferring from? So these are all the different options that you have. Here I'm going to transfer from Android. And then it's going to create a wireless network between the two. So here I need to say connect on the Galaxy S6 Edge and it's automatically going to connect those devices together. And this doesn't require any sort of Wi-Fi network. This is creating a Wi-Fi network between the two devices so it can wirelessly send everything over from this phone to your new phone. So here it's saying this transfer should take about 53 minutes. You have about seven gig that it's going to send over, but there will still be 52 gig or there's right now there's 52 gig available on the device. Here it says I have 900 contacts, 7,000 text messages, calendar, memo, notes, calls, even my S Health application, all the applications currently installed, my settings of the phone, my home screen settings, images that I have, and then music, videos, voice recordings, and documents. So if I want to adjust this at all, I can deselect all, and then it's gonna give me an estimated time as I select each number. But I wanna select all, and then maybe I don't wanna transfer any of my text messages. Those do tend to take a long time. So if you are not in need of them, I would suggest to not transfer them, or you can click settings and you could just say the last 30 days of text messages if you want to. So we're gonna uncheck text messages, and then if I go down here, and I go into my videos, I am going to click the arrow on the right side of the screen, and then it gives me options if there's any videos that I don't want to transfer. So here I'm going to click the camera and uncheck that one because I don't want that video to transfer over. It's a pretty large one. So I'm gonna click done, and now it's saying I'm only gonna take about 34 minutes. 
So once I'm ready to send over the information, all I need to do is click send. Over on this phone, it will then ask if you want to receive the info. And of course we wanna say receive, and then is going to transfer everything from the S6 Edge over to my new Galaxy S8 Plus. So first it will prepare all the information, then it will transfer, and then it will save it in the, to the proper place. While this transfer is going, you don't need to have the screens on. You can have them locked just to save time and then check back later. Also, you can continue to use your apps and set up the rest of your phone while you are waiting. This does take quite a bit of power to do so, but if you want to set up your Gmail account while you're waiting for this to happen, you can do that. So I can even go into the settings here and let's say I wanna change my display. to timeout after five minutes, and then I can just go back to Smart Switch and I will see that it's still working. So here it's estimated time to transfer is eight minutes, which it gave us about a 34 minute estimated time to transfer everything over. Okay, so that portion of the transfer took 14 minutes. It is now saving all the information in the proper place on the Galaxy S8. There are 15 different categories that it has to save, so this could take some time. Uh, you can use the phone while this is doing it, but I suggest you wait um, as it is putting these in the proper place and adjusting your home screen still. This device is all done, so you can close the application. Okay, that total transfer time was about 23 minutes transferring wirelessly from the old phone. If you would like to see how to use the USB connector cable that comes with your new Galaxy S7 or G Galaxy S8, um, please click the link above as well as other ways to transfer your information. So here it's saying it did 3.6 gigabytes of data. Here is all the information that it transferred. And then here at the bottom, it's saying there are more features on the new device like Samsung Cloud, so you can click there. Or here, I just want to close the app. So now I wanna verify that it did transfer all the information over. Okay, so here we can see that it transferred the wallpaper over from the old phone to the new phone. It transferred the widget. Uh, we have the same applications, even the Google widget right there. The only applications on this page that are missing was the email application. It's possible just because Samsung changed the way they use their email app over to the new phone. Also down here in the bottom, you will notice this has the apps button. This does not. It is no longer on the Galaxy S8 unless you change that in the settings, but there it is all right. And then in the messaging application, we are missing these two apps, but those are Verizon specific apps that are on this phone, which this does not have. Then if we go to the next page, we can see that it transferred those same widgets as well. It missed the Oculus application because you need to plug that into the Gear VR before that will download. And here it missed some other applications, uh, Samsung Kids Mode, and the play games, but every other thing is there. If we go into the phone application, we will see that it transferred all the contacts as well as the recent calls. You can see all those right there. Let's jump over to the last page here. These just need to be set up and verified on the email account and they'll work and then here we have another page where it missed a Samsung specific application. So that is smart switch transfer from the old phone to the new phone. If you would like to see how to transfer this from the USB connector, make sure you click the link above as well as another way to transfer through SD cards and if you want to uh, transfer from an iPhone or other applications. Remember, when you want to do this, you need to make sure the old phone, whether it's a Samsung or a non-Samsung device, has Android 4.0 or newer, and the phone must support mobile AP to be able to do this wireless transfer. Let's also check the gallery. So here, if I go into the gallery, 
you'll see that this automatically goes into the pictures, but if I choose albums, and then I click the drop down here, it will show me the different albums that I have over here. The gift maker album, the Instagram, kids camera, and then sort this. I chose not to transfer that one large video file there. So it transferred the camera flawlessly as well. I'm really happy with the way that the smart switch transferred over all of my information. This really is one of the best options if you're going from an Android phone to the new Samsung device. There are many other ways where you can back up and transfer your information, but this is definitely the all-in-one transfer application that you should use. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about how to transfer your information from an old Samsung phone to a brand new one wirelessly through the Smart Switch application. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Check out the videos over here to learn more about the Galaxy S8. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.